can imagine that if you and someone you love just took this and just made eye contact for like an absurdly long amount of time, it would feel very good. You know what feels better than eye contact? It's having sex. MDA is believed to act like a psychedelic version of Molly, gifting the users the same blissful feelings they are used to, but with a pinch of trippy. In fact, some users even claim that MDA is even more euphoric than its sister Molly. But is any of this true? Are the effects actually similar? And just how psychedelic is MDA really? I mean, will a person actually hallucinate on just average doses? Well, let's find out. Quentin, our biochemist in training, is going to consume for us today a single dose of MDA for both his first time ever consuming the compound and also for the sake of science and safety. And when I say safety, I mean it. This video is going to indirectly demonstrate the importance of testing your pills and more. Of course, we don't recommend that anyone watching does consume any drug whatsoever. The best form of harm reduction is abstinence, but we cannot tell people what they can and can't do with their own bodies. Instead, all that we can hope to achieve is to advise them on how to use and stay alive in the process. According to YouTube's guidelines shown here, videos which intend to educate are documentary by nature and do not glorify the use of drugs, both abide by the community safety guidelines and are eligible for monetization. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs, instead it attempts to be non-biased while delivering vital life-saving information disguised as entertainment. MDA is actually a metabolite of the more popular MDMA, aka Molly Mandy Ecstasy. However, MDA, also known as Sally Sass or Sassafras, came first. Between the 1950s and 1960s, it was patented as a cough suppressant, an anti-anxiety, and an appetite suppressant. But it was never actually sold as any of those things. Instead, the counterculture movement snatched it up, where it became, well, it gained notoriety as the original love drug. At least, of course, until it was made illegal in the 1970s, which opened the doors for the still legal at the time MDMA to swoop in and replace it. When compared to her sister Molly, Sally is slightly more potent, has a slightly longer duration, slightly more euphoria, slightly more energy, slightly more psychedelic potential, and slightly less peer bonding potential. Pharmacologically speaking, both compounds work by releasing serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine within the brain. MDA also has more neurotoxic potential, making it extremely important that any user abides by the no more than once every three month rule. Now the reason why you have to wait so long between doses is because these drugs drain serotonin in your brain faster than a uh, tight vagina drains your penis. And in its absence, your mood can plummet into depression. The absence of serotonin that is, the absence of the other thing can make you pretty depressed too. And studies do indicate that the brain needs at least one month to hatch back all of that lost serotonin. However, if you are taking MDA or even MDMA once every month, it's still arguably too much. And before long, you are going to lose the magic. Now, assuming users properly weigh their doses, test their MDMA with the proper reagent kit, don't dose more than once every three months max, then MDA is relatively, potentially, possibly safe to consume. However, not testing your pills may mean that you're consuming counterfeit MDA or cut MDA, which can kill you. If you do need a test kit, you can find one in the link. Pretty good sales pitch, right? I mean, if you don't test your pills, you can die. So like, yeah. Just fucking test your shit. But anyway, now that we've got all of that history and safety stuff out of the way, let's um head on over to our actual experience. And that's right, I did say our experience. You see, originally it was supposed to be just Quentin consuming the drug. However, upon, well, just probing him, we found that he had never consumed MDMA before either, which is kind of important, which put us in a bit of a pickle, forcing me to uh, dose with him so that I can at least be the one who compares the effects. Um, anyway. Let's uh, get on with this ridiculous video. Hope you guys all enjoy. We're just basically, I'm gonna intro you, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna ask you, you know, it's your first time, why you wanna do this, and then we're gonna check our heart rates. Okay. And then dose. Sounds good. All right, guys, you are back with Sight Substance. And I'm not going to use my camera voice in this video. <laughs> but we are here with Quentin hey guys. from the Quentin Experiment. And today, Quentin is going to be trying his first ever intactogen. I am indeed. MDA. MDA.
Uh, why do you want to do this today? Well, I've never taken any compound even similar to MDMA, so I'm excited to see how the character of the experience changes. Have you given a lot of thought to trying it? Like, is it something you thought about? No, and that's kind of also why I'm so curious. Because I haven't, and it's never even been at the forefront of my mind, and to get a chance to try a compound so unfamiliar to me. Mm. What are your um, expectations? I'm going in with a completely open mind. Of course, I've heard a lot of the uh, famous stories of people on MDMA and how it's a party drug and things like that, but I'm excited to see how I react to it. This is MDA. This isn't MDMA. Of course, but MDA is somewhat similar, right? To make this video extra interesting, I'm also going to be dosing, but I'm going to start at a starting dose of 80 milligrams, and Quentin is going to start at 120. So MDA is pretty potent, so there should be a pretty big, uh, you know, experience response curve between the two of us. I should have significantly less euphoria. I look forward to it. He should be blasted sky high. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Here you go, uh, and here's my little pill, and now just maybe say something about how, like, I have nothing to do with you wanting to take this. Adam has absolutely nothing to do with me wanting to take this substance. I am fully voluntarily taking it. I look forward to the experience. Thank you, that's important to me. Yes. I don't want people to be like, Adam wanted me, no, 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 I have nothing Adam to do with this. Adam was holding a gun to me under the table. Actually, I'm holding this penis to him. <laughs> <laughs> that we found on the table. That's equally frightening. I don't even know where it came from. This isn't my house. So the first thing we're going to do, just for the sake of keeping this scientifically accurate, is we're going to test our heart rates before and after. And, you know, our blood pressure, which is what this bad boy should do here. All right. So give me this on. Let's do it. All right. The vice is beginning. Ooh, someone's a bit nervous. We are practicing the utmost of safety. We have our trip sitter, Gerald, and he is a trained paramedic. There he is. And he is touting one of the mushroom blankets. Thank, thank you, Gerald. Appreciate it. Couldn't come up with a more fake sounding name. <laughs> uh, wait, did I mention he was a trained paramedic? We should call him Heinrich. I like Heinrich. On a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous are you? I feel completely naive in this circumstance, so I would say 2, 3. Oh, you're not nervous at all? Not whatsoever. Damn. I feel completely safe with the paramedic. Um, I even feel a little nervous. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps I should be wiser then. <laughs> no, see, this compound is just supposed to make you feel good. Or, you know, in therapy to get over past trauma. It's yeah. very powerful with that. But, um, I don't know why it makes me nervous. How's it do for hugging ability? Most people, it makes them into hug machines. Mm, we'll see. The Hugginators. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, you ready to be the Hugginator? Do you anticipate me being a Hugginator? All right, well, if there's no other questions, um, what's the time of ingestion? 7.35 is a good time. 7.35. We go. Bottoms up. Now, we play the fun game of waiting. We do. Yeah, shit. Yeah, man, I, I'm feeling something. I'm feeling like it, like in this uh, chest region, mm -hmm. kind of like energy building. And yeah, just my sense of general comfort has slowly increased. You feel more comfortable? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not feeling very nervous at all. Me either. How's your, uh, I'm feeling chills now. I'm not feeling chills, but my headspace has changed. I'm getting like cold and gassy. I'm just feeling more comfortable. This is a weird feeling. I feel kind of wet. You feel wet? Yeah, like my, my body feels kind of, um, maybe it's just, it's a little sweaty. I feel kind of wet. Oh yeah, it's probably sweat, right? Yeah, but no, it's weird. It doesn't feel like that. It's like my, my the sensation of my skin is uh, starting to alter. It's interesting effects because I'm not really feeling, yeah, I'm not feeling anxious. I thought I was going to feel super anxious. I guess it just, uh, maybe it came on so fast it killed the come up anxiety. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like, it's definitely still building. Yeah, definitely. No yeah. visuals yet or ever. Yeah, no, actually that door. If anything, that door is going to start looking funky. Wow, I think I've come to peace with that door. Do you want me to lock you inside it? Honestly, I wouldn't even mind. Oh man, that means these effects are happening. 
Honestly, I would feel completely comfortable Dude, walking into One bed. of the effects of this thing is, is it makes you okay with everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. It's coming Definitely on, man. Feeling it's a like slight, a warm blanket. Yep, feeling a, exactly the sensation of a warm blanket, a slight euphoria increasing. Mm. Yeah. I'm fascinated. I can't wait. I'm feeling like a sense of, uh, like, peaceful vibe. Me like, too. Like, just very quiet. Like, I instantly became completely okay with this entire situation. Not that I was not. It's just now I'm more so. Welcome to day 29 of the Wakefield Corn. You gonna join soon. us, man? Uh, no, no. Love, love you soon. You not okay. gonna meditate? Just let no. gravity no, settle you. Ten minutes. Just feel your body as a whole. And then let it resolve itself into a cloud of sensation. Once again, take a moment to... Reflect on the transition here. Nothing is really changing. Definitely because you've decided to, to stop practicing and go about your day. Yep. And I'll see you here tomorrow for day 30 of the Wicked Up course. I definitely am having an increase in heart rate. Quentin has... Transition to the floor. That meditation was very interesting. I'm gonna turn the heat on in the house, in the house and we're gonna do a heart rate check. I can see why this is a social substance because I can imagine myself in a social environment communicating with mostly everyone around Everybody? me without judgment as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you not judge. I yeah. love it. Yep. I even didn't feel physically repulsed when you just got when you guys hugged right there. I didn't feel that repulsed. Wow, man, your blood pressure is not nearly as bad as mine. Look at you. Your heart rate's only sixty. It probably lowered. It did, and you're you're one thirty over seventy. That makes sense. And so mine far as huge. I'm, I'm feeling much more relaxed right now. Well, we'll try again in ten minutes. Maybe yeah. I'm just hit harder than you. I think. Hmm. Well, I mean, to be fair, yeah, we have different body weights for sure. So. Mm. So we're recording these effects, and um, my primary effect right now is everything. Touching feels really interesting, like very interesting to touch stuff. How does this feel to you? Touch the blanket. Wow, yeah, that does feel absolutely fantastic. Yeah. More so, I'm just feeling supremely social. Um, supremely social. And very comfortable. That's what I keep saying. I can almost feel the blood pumping in my ears during that meditation we just did. Mm. So I assumed my heart rate had raised, but I guess not. Yeah, I could do with a woman right now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I could. I would enjoy a female's company. Yeah, it would be nice to talk to some females. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, you're definitely right about the tactile um, sensation. It's like every time this thing touches me, it just feels fantastic. That is amazing. I'm glad we're having such like a contrast of effect because all I want to do right now is like lay down. Oh yeah, show me some butt cheeks. Butt cheeks on MDMA, that's what this is all about. You're on MDA for Christ's sake. Oh, yeah, yeah. You keep forgetting the name semantics, of the drug. Semantics, semantics. It's not, it's a different drug. <laughs> Just received uh, this. Uh, Fantastic. Not bad. Yes. Let's just while I'm sitting on that couch. Do for some cheek clapping. <sighs> so, so what's going on? How do you usually get girls, can kind of? If you get Tinder Gold, you can just select from a list of chicks who already think you're attractive and just like choose them. Some Man, this is this is some next level. Like shit. a college town, I you know I check like I'll refresh right and it's just mm -hmm. like I don't know, let's say fifty, like fifty people, you know maybe ten of them are really ugly, then the rest are just like okay, you know. Man, I never had that. I had to go out and actually get nope. rejected. And it says how many miles they are from me, where they're at. That's pretty. Yeah, it's fucking weird. It's fantastic, man. and then I even sort by like miles. My home corner, I really want to fucking drive. Right now. You sound like such a gentleman. I am a gentleman. I'm a gentleman, a scholar.
and a scholar. I get a lot of dudes coming on to me in my comments, Adam. Why? Yeah. Me too. You do? Man, yeah. wow, I know. Why? I'm about to go gay for pay. I'm, I'm getting annoyed. Like, where are all the ladies in the comments? <laughs> all of the comments about me being attractive, it's always men. It's like... <laughs> Man, I, just, I feel like an overwhelming urge to just cuddle. Like, that's all I want to do right now. I think I'm feeling a version of that, certainly. Are you? Are you ready to hug it out? I would like to, no, but I'd like to Skype my Austrian babe right now. Yeah. You can't, we're filming a of video, course. baby. See, isn't it hard to focus on these videos sometimes? Yeah, because I'm a human, bro. Uh, yeah. However, I'm not a human. Relative to MDMA, <laughs> I'm actually feeling very different effects. Yeah, no, this is new to me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if I just kind of felt like this. <laughs> I wouldn't want to feel like this. Yeah. Fuck no. No? Do you, do you want to see me like this is like... It's like... Oh. No, man. I feel like a lunatic right now. You good to clean that up or you want me to do it? I got it. Yeah, all right. Can I, uh, can I pull up at this table with you guys? I feel weird. I feel disconnected. From yeah, the come here. Squad. Come here. As long as you don't mind being filmed. Yeah, that's fine. Squad. Let me get a chair. Yeah, get a chair. Ugh. Ooh, <laughs> I feel great, Adam. Do you? Yeah, I feel absolutely fantastic. <sighs> I feel weird as fuck. Me too, in the best way. In the best way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feeling that dopamine, feeling a bit of serotonin. What does that remind you of Adderall at all? It reminds me a little bit of Adderall, gotta be honest. Damn. Gotta be honest. What part of it is like Adderall? The attention that I now have, like the focus. Um, I don't feel that at all. The initial um, heightened awareness. Mm. You're not getting the same skin shit as me, are you? Like my skin is just like so weird right now. I think my skin's mostly fine so far. Oh, my skin feels so weird. Like, <laughs> my skin never feels like this normally. <laughs> What's it feel like? Cold and uh, extremely receptive. Really? To everything. Like, it might look like I'm enjoying myself, but I kind of feel like I want to jump out of my skin. Oh, no. It, it, it's interesting. It's a very interesting effect. We're here to rock with you. I'm gonna hug you so hard, Adam. You ready? Yes. <laughs> you ready to be embraced? I see why they call this the love drug. I just want to like hug people. I do feel fucking great. Come here, Jeff. Give me a hug. Let's do it, baby. It's I just want to hug people. Wow. My heart is sore. You smell good. Yeah? Yeah. That's the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> Yo, I'm melting. Yeah. You feeling good? I don't know if I would say good though. Like, I don't know if it's good. I, I would definitely melting. say good. Yeah. You feel good? I feel very good. Well, I mean, there is no good or bad, right? So, it's just, it just is. You feel different. This is yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this good. is good. Yeah. I don't know about bad, but this is good. I'm, I'm in the camera now, by the way. I'm, I'm That's here. okay. He's taking over. I'm here for the clout. <laughs> I think a lot of people know Sibo themselves with like psychedelics, exactly. and then they're like, I had a bad experience. I'm like, you absolutely thought it was going to be a bad I experience. Do, I do that. That's why yeah. I like avoid it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'm the poster child. My visual field is, is seeming trips. very strange. Really strange. Right now? Yeah. What's it look like? <sighs> like the room just seems to have much more life <laughs> than mm -hmm. it did previously. It seems much more alive. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm really happy. I just went into this with an open mind, no idea what would happen, mm -hmm. and having a great time. I feel really euphoric, man. Yeah? That's right. Right. It feels great. Just awesome. Those dopamine, that's just squeezing, man. Mm -hmm. I probably look insane right now just looking around. That feels incredible. That's sick, dude. Yeah, it seems like the entire room is breathing. Mm -hmm. That's strange. And you're feeling just entire euphoria? Euphoria? Yeah, pure euphoria and 
a feeling of like surrealness. That's sick, man. Yeah, like realer than uh, what normal things look like. Oh, it's going at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, this is nice. I need to get some more water. So, we should be documenting effects. So, yeah. you feel great. I feel better than I've probably ever felt. That's amazing. See, I don't feel good. I feel great. Wow. What a contrast. I just feel weird. I think I'm sucking up all your chakra or something. Man, give it back. Because <laughs> I just feel so weird. Do I look okay? You look... I feel like the final form of a human right now. Like, this is like... When there's no more humans and like the universe is about to reach heat death, this is like the form we're in. Bro, your hair's getting more yellow too. I feel, I feel like my facial hair's growing. I feel. Going like, super saiyan. I'm going super saiyan. Oh, oh, shit. I'm about to go super <laughs> saiyan. I swear to God. Like, do you want to dance right now? I don't want to dance, but even just the room has such a warm, comfortable. Wow. Immediately understand why. Yeah. Understand why what? I understand like uh, why this is ideal in a in a community or, or group environment. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I feel absolutely great. I wish you felt great too. I will soon. Yeah, you will. You feel great, Adam. Oh, I always feel great. You feel great. I always feel. You don't great. feel bad. You feel great. No, I don't feel bad. I never said I felt bad. I said I felt weird. I probably should move. Yeah, yeah. You don't feel weird. You're feeling like a champion as well. It's right. somewhat like a lightheaded feeling, but I, I'm still in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just feel lighter. Absolutely lighter. I might even float off the ground. I got to be careful here. <laughs> this is a very pleasant headspace. Probably like a spiritual teacher just feels all the time is deeply present. Oh this. yeah, right. My fucking ass they do. <laughs> this is how they want you to think they feel, so you buy their book. I have like chills, but each chill feels amazing. <laughs> I feel deeply grateful for some reason. Gratitude is the answer. I can imagine that if you and someone you love just took this and just made eye contact for like an absurdly long amount of time, it would feel very good. You know what feels better than eye contact? It's having sex with someone. Sex. Oh, touching their skin. Oh, it's just like, it's just working its way through my body and just making me feel so comfortable. So comfortable in my skin. I'm jealous, to be honest. Really? I'm not usually fuck. so comfortable in my skin, it's just fantastic. Like Quentin's fucking on another level, you know? I'm, I'm so supremely like, grateful for this experience I'm because like, I haven't it sounds felt awesome. this good. It, it does, does sound it awesome. Sounds awesome. I wish I was on that level. Yeah. I just went in completely open-minded, no clue what would happen, and here I am soaring right now. Soaring. Wow. We're at the two hour mark right now. Oh, did you, could you grab my tea? Where is it? In the car. Uh, are you kidding me, Adam? Uh, this oh. is the best trip sitter I've ever had in my it, life. Adam. He's getting my tea. I love you, Jeff. Oh, Jeff is so sweet. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. I feel exhausted. I really? can go to sleep right now. Fast. We're having such fascinatingly different effects, eh? Very different you, effects. There's no way you could sleep, right? Not at all. See, I'm so tired. I'm even experiencing, um, like I can't even really focus on reading things. Oh, you're getting that. Nista, Nista Gamis. How do you say it? Is there a name for it? Yeah, Nista Gamis. Look it up. That's usually when it, you know, it feels really good. It feels fantastic. Yeah. Just so you know, for the 30,000th time, feeling great. Guess what? He feels fantastic. Hey, he feels fantastic. Uh, three hours in, my heart rate has apparently doubled. Apparently he wants to hug. I'll hug you. Aww. He wants to hug. He doesn't hug and feel good. Yeah. We're vibing, Adam. We're vibing. We are vibing. Here, give me your hand, I'm gonna pass it to you. you ready? Holy shit. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck, dude. I was not ready for that. Oh, okay, so what, what's the time? I don't know. We need to know. 
Time is 11.06. Three and a half hours, basically. That's it. Yeah. It's, it's wearing down, eh? No. Not for you? <laughs> oh, shit, man. I don't know what to say to this update. I think I'm, I'm probably me go sleep. Me break dance downstairs. Me eat broccoli. And you're gonna fucking message a lot of people. That's a good idea. I should just get on Tinder right now. You should. I should just maximize those that probability. Just, just be very careful who you invite over. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll recap that tomorrow. Did we experience a come down? Did you? Yeah, I'm somewhat going through a come down, but pretty mild overall. Honestly, it's nothing more than really a headache and a, a sense of lethargy. Nothing, uh, nothing significant. I noticed the come down more so directly as I was, directly as the drug was wearing off. I definitely noticed the contrast between Peaking and not peaking. Was it was it a, a gradual decline or like a, just a drop? It was pretty much a drop because I even, I even intended to make some personal videos about the experience and then I was like, I am dead right now. Like <laughs> I, I actually went and sat in front of the little uh, recording area and I just lost all motivation. That's interesting how you were affected so different than me. I was never on your level. No, no. I think that's apparent to anybody who sees the... <laughs> yeah, so for me it was like I was feeling kind of good and then I just like slowly went back down to baseline, but it was interesting because it was so gradual for me that I never really felt sad about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I went from feeling essentially on top of the world to, uh, okay. okay, okay, with a bit of a headache. Yeah, I think I'll definitely go a pretty long period of time before I take another substance similar to that. It's a pretty decent duration, but you're having so much euphoria and so much fun and you're so talkative that it felt like an hour went by. When, when yeah. we were wrapping up, I was like, guys, that felt like 30 or 30 minutes to an hour. I know the time acceleration is intense. Fascinating, fascinating. So was it what you thought it would be? Yeah, it, it, it sort of was what I anticipated, but way, way better. Like I, I didn't anticipate feeling just that. It was like I was able to perceive everything without any judgment whatsoever. Mm. And so that allowed me to open up myself and just, I remember like our, uh, our trip sitter was telling me, you know, pretty normal stories and I was, I was captivated. Like it was just, I know. it was like a narrative, you know, I was like a child in bed being told a story. Um, that was got, it does have that childlike wonder to it. It does. I think the primary negatives mostly are based off when you're coming off the drug because just how euphoric it is when you're on it. Mm. I think maybe I experienced a bit of a, a bit of chest tightness as my heart rate sort of I think in the video, my heart rate once like doubled and then went back down. So funny thing too, was just like what it did to my posture in the video. I'm just sitting directly so erect. Right. And yeah. And when I was sitting like so that, blitzed. It, it felt like just orgasmic to sit like that. <laughs> so all said and done with, would you do that again? Absolutely. Yes. But I would need to give my brain a healthy break. I think before it feels like a physical toll has been paid. It's weird how you feel that way. I feel very fine. Really? Like I surprisingly feel, I'd say almost baseline normal. That kind of makes sense to me considering the height of euphoria I was at versus versus you. Maybe mm. there's a, there's but just... sometimes they say it's it's a delayed reaction. Like it could be the day after <laughs> You're gonna the next snap day. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that could be it for sure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, for me, I think I'm, I'm on a five year break. Five years, huh? Yeah. Well, I'll see you again. I just see no value in it. I like taking compounds where I'm learning something new and I'm uncovering mysteries to the universe. Mm -hmm. And you're not gonna get through any mysteries on that. Absolutely. And I like that LSD and specifically psilocybin almost directly make you confront your problems. Whereas it felt like MDMA, you could have had, you could basically essentially permanently cover up all your issues like MDMA. M <laughs> <laughs> you can't call it by its name. God damn it. <laughs> oh boy. That MDA uh, allows you to just feel euphoric and ignore your issues. For the time being, you've transcended the issues. Yeah, that's that's more so. Yeah, it gives you this like everything in the world is okay feeling. Even if shit is wrong, you're like, it's so wrong, but it's so perfect. Um, anyway, that concludes the MDA video. If you guys want to see more of Quentin, you can go to his channel, The Quentin Experiment. There's going to be a link popping up somewhere over here. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that big thumbs up button and leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite part of it was. I mean, was it him saying how great he felt a million times? Me a touching the one. table a million and one? Um, yeah, all together, I, I had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time. Good, good. I will see you guys all in the next video, and don't forget to uh, subscribe to Quentin. Thanks, and me, guys. if you haven't already. Mostly me. Mostly him, yeah. Bye. Peace out.